there. Oh, this one is not the same. This is Jen. Here's some more. Subscribe before you fall asleep. Hi there, my lovely, lovely, sleepy squirrels. I hope that you are all well. In this evening's video, I will be unboxing. I just got this special edition at the same time as the Easter one and it was like one of those little New Year like boxes that open like that that look like the, um, the advent calendars and I got it because it was only 20 euros as opposed to 40 so it was a good deal a cute box but I would make it nice before we get into the actual products inside, I'm just going to spend a few minutes, possibly more than a few on this one because the, the packaging is plenty. I'm just going to spend a few minutes or more on the outside packaging, making some sleepy cardboard sounds. If you just want to see what's inside.
now that we are hopefully nice and relaxed. How cute is this little box? It's got a magnetic front too, which means it's definitely reusable. And it is actually a limited edition for the end of the year. So um, Christmas slash New Year box to get a present or something. So I can imagine that is why it was only 20 euros in Easter. Okay. So I can see a lot of products in here. <laughs> um, I recognize the invisible bubbles. I see, um... I feel like that's that milk thing, you know, like the highlighter stuff. Delilah mm, rings a bell, not sure. Christoph Robin, yes. That looks like Davine's, yeah, Davine's probably hair care. So, hair care, hair care, makeup. That looks like an Avon lip scrub. I love this stuff. Give him Lala, or give him Lala. Um, oh, I see a little brush. Cute. And that. If I'm not mistaken, it's Illa Masca. And then some sort of... Oh, it's Elf. Cool. I haven't seen Elf in years. Um, the Elf website just stopped working for friends a long time ago. Years ago. And then if you want to buy Elf stuff, it's like super expensive compared to before. I don't know if it's just because you got to pay for it to come to friends. seems to be something else underneath. I'm not sure. How many products are we talking? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, possibly 12. That's pretty good. Okay, so let me just pop this to the side. And we can have a look at everything one by one. So hold up this tissue paper. dehydrated and dull hair, which is not my problem, but you know. Okay, after using the hydrating shampoo, apply a small amount onto wet hair, beginning with the scalp, massage from root to tip, and leave for two minutes before rinsing thoroughly. Follow with the hydrating mist to boost the shine. Yeah, I just use it in the air. It's pretty nice. It has that general Christoph Robin smell to it, like the scent. Yeah, kind of like a male scent. I do enjoy. I do enjoy. And my holy grail Christoph Robin is the salt scrub. It's amazing because it's not just a scrub, it's actually like a shampoo as well. Once you emulsify it, like once you add water, usable hair care product for me. That's cool. Okay, this probably is, yeah, shampoo. <laughs> Momo shampoo from Davines. Um, there are usually shampoos or conditioners and stuff, but I have had one where it's like also body wash. So that's why I say probably a shampoo. 
a moisturizing shampoo for dry or dehydrated hair da, 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 with yellow melon extract from Mrs. Smitone's farm, the Tilo Trapani, Italy. Does that mean the melon? They're from the farm. <laughs> Slow food. Smell for the melons. There is a touch of melon going on, but um, as it is a shampoo for dry hair, I won't probably be using it. But that's fine. Because all of these little shampoos that I get, all the hair care, all the little bottles that just go into a little basket in the bathroom, and everybody just uses up what they want, tries out what they want. Nothing is wasted. I think my daughter must have tried at least 20 different shampoos. At her age, I think I'd probably only use baby shampoo and maybe one other fancy mum shampoo. Like Ozzy or something. <laughs> okay, this is cute. I like it because it's um, melon. I think she'll like it. So two not so bad hair products, quite usable ones. What do we have next? Let's go for hair again. Little scrunchies. Or <laughs> little phone cords. It's funny because for me that's a phone card. Um, and for like next generations, they'll be like, oh that's the hair bubbles that you get. are traceless hair love tech invisible the traceless hair ring less damage less marks and less pain um i don't actually enjoy using these they actually just get more stuck in my hair i feel um 100 of women who try to experience no pain I will see if my daughter wants to use these. She has quite thin hair, so it's not necessarily something that she would enjoy using either, but um, if not, I'll just put these into eBay boxes. So it'll be a nice little accessory for someone. I like the colour though. They're cute. Actually, when we were looking earlier and I said there's probably there's like something else under there I think it was actually just this like the backing of this packaging so I think there is actually only 11 products which let's face it 11 is pretty good I would have expected 10 I feel like 10 is like a, um, a special edition number Let me grab this. I don't know what it is. Mura. I thought it was going to be like a solid product at first. I'm not sure it is. So Mura, hydrate and protect. Step three. Oh, I don't know what step one and two are though. Developed by Mura, Dr. Mura. Okay. Established in 1989. Essential C. Day moisture. Broad spectrum SPF at 30. PA++++ plus plus plus. What's PA? I don't know what pH is So it's just a moisturizer with, I'm guessing, vitamin C and sunscreen Antioxidant rich SPF moisturizer with vitamin C and potent antioxidant ginkgo biloba leaf extract helps shield skin from environmental aggressors to use, apply liberally um, to face, neck and chest warning contains benzophonin no, benzophenone 3 I'm guessing that is the sunscreen aspect of it just open okay, it's just like a little tiny tube um, I, I would have been fine without all that packaging, but I guess they have a lot to to write on there, and this is pretty small. 
definitely not a full size. Let's see. Well, I hope that's not a full size. And you're supposed to apply it liberally. How many, like, if I'm going to use this for my entire face, neck, and chest, like, how many uses am I really going to get out of this tiny little tube? I don't know. Okay, so it is sealed, but I do like a good SPF on the face. And summer is coming, guys. I'm just, I'm really not a summer person, like uh, 25 degree summer, okay, but like a 30 to 40 degree summer is not my thing, really not my thing, <laughs> and that's what it's like here, so, let me just smell, mmm, that's actually a nice, um, a nice orangey scent, you know, like you get the vitamin C if they've like done that on purpose it's like a powdery orange it's really nice okay so we'll definitely get use out of this cool with summer coming very quickly okay actually talking of summer coming i don't know how long i'll be able to keep wearing sleeves in these videos um i find these kind of videos so much cozier when the person is wearing a long sleeve i know that is like Nobody probably even notices. I don't know. But I just feel like it's so much cozier. But when real summer is around, there's no way I can... I'll just be, like, sweating. My hands would be, like, sweating if I wore this soon. I can keep cozy for now. Okay. What should I go for next? Do we have any more skincare? We do have more skincare, and I know what it is. Ilamasca Beyond Veil had this maybe two or three times before um once full size this is full size and a few times with the little tiny pot which honestly the little tiny pot's not so bad so skin glowing gel gel pour rien yeah. skin glowing gel designed for dull and dehydrated skin this lightweight skin glowing gel instantly helps hydrate and smooth your skin. It blurs the appearance of fine lines and minimizes the look of imperfections with a natural glowing finish. Unlock your individuality. I feel like any moisturizer is going to do that. It's going to, you know, reduce appearance of fine lines because you're moisturizing it and it will minimize the look of imperfections too because you won't have to like dry this around them <laughs> but I do like this moisturizer I like the cute little pot <laughs> I have to say look at it how cute is it little mask is all the little um the little logo that looks like a little stabbed apple in my opinion Beyond the Veil. Well, it's actually just Beyond Veil. I thought it was Beyond the Veil. Oh well. Little fancy pot. <laughs> Ta -da. Oh, this one is not the same. The one that I had before was definitely a transparent gel. And this one is almost non existent in the pot. Let's. Can you see? Like where the natural product starts. We're talking like almost a centimeter into the pot. What's that about? Hmm, doesn't smell different. What? Is it different? Beyond Veil Skin Glowing Gel. Maybe this is not the same product I'm thinking of. Maybe this is different. It's definitely shimmery. Yeah, this is not the same product. It feels kind of jelly-like as well. It's a little glowy. It's not crazy. It's not like a highlighter, but I see what they mean by the glowiness. Okay, that looks interesting. Um, I'll enjoy testing this out. Um, it's strange because I really thought it was just going to be the clear gel. Maybe that's why it's hollow. It's like a glowy product. I wonder if the other one's hollow. I'll have 
to look how it must have. can see the shimmer. It's nice. I don't know if it, the camera's picking it up. Maybe a touch here. Okay, that'll be nice. Cool. Got some boxes to pop to the side. What do we have next? We still have one more skincare item. The rest are makeup, which is cool. I do like getting a whole bunch of makeup in these boxes. I'm getting a touch more into makeup because my daughter started to ask if she can wear this, if she can wear that. She went to like a, an emoji birthday party at the weekend. Both of my kids went to a birthday party on Sunday, so that was pretty cool. Um, my son went to the like bounce house kind of play place for a six-year-old. No, it was a five-year-old's birthday. One year younger than him. And my daughter it was like a, I guess a 13. Yeah, 13 year old. Um, her 13th birthday, should I say? And they had an emoji thing. And my daughter, she had bright yellow eyeshadow with mascara, then a blush and a little lip stuff. And I did a little, um, a little round uh, smiley on her cheek, but with like no drawing around it. So we just like kind of, um, what's the word? blended it out. So it was like a, almost like an airbrushed yellow dot on her cheek with a little smiley. It was so cute. So yeah, she's making me more interested in makeup again. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, so this is the Velvet Perfecting Rose Sugar Lip Scrub. I have received this like four or five times, but it's fine because I love it. <laughs> it smells amazing. It feels amazing. Very sticky, of course, but you know, it's fine. It smells divine. I love this stuff. I think if you actually buy it, like in a shop, we're talking like 50, 60 euros. I think it was like 63 euros when I saw it once. And I was like, oh my goodness, there's no way that I would spend that much, but it is pretty good. So you said just Spread the scrub on the lips and use your finger to exfoliate thoroughly. Leave on for one to two minutes and rinse off. Carry out a patch test. It's okay, I've already used it. I leave it on for about five minutes. I don't know. I doubt that it's going to be too harsh. If I leave it for five, it's fine. Hyaluronic, argan oil, peony, sweet almond. Yeah, okay, I'm happy to get this. I have one on the go and probably already one waiting to be used to, so I'm not in desperate need of this, but I'm happy it's here. <laughs> Knowing how much it costs, I'm happy it's here. Okay, let's have a look at something else lip related. Oh, are these both? Yeah, they're both lip related. So it's drenched lip quencher. And this is a lip line longwear retractable pencil. Okay, let's look at this one first. Delilah lip line in buff. I like the sound of that name because it means it's going to be a natural, kind of like in the buff kind of thing. Yeah, it looks like it might be a nice Natural Rose Buff 3004 by Delilah the UK and it is a retractable one which is fine I mean you might not get the super sharp sharpness of a pencil that way because you're not like you know you're not um, sharpening it <laughs> there we go but the retractable ones are pretty yeah, that's a pretty nice color. That'll do me just fine. And then, let's see. I don't know anything about I feel like Delilah. I've seen something from them before, but I couldn't tell you what. But I feel like I've seen it before. Dermatologically tested, paraben free, cruelty free, and vegan. How to apply. Trace carefully around the lip line, sketching softly inside the line. 
Now fill the whole lip area in. Remember to use the built-in sharpener to keep a clean, precise tip. See if I didn't read that. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. It's like a little product sharpener. You know, it's not going to sharpen like wood around a pencil, but I'll just keep that tip. don't generally use them because I kind of like um, if I'm gonna be filling in my lips I'll kind of like put it to the side a touch and fill in like that so the edge of the pencil is like at the edge I'm gonna fill it in anyway well if at that point I'm gonna fill it in and that way I don't need to sharpen and waste any product it just kind of keeps sharp does that make sense Makes sense to me. <laughs> so give them a la, la beauty. I've seen a whole bunch of stuff from them, a whole bunch of makeup, and some of it's quite good actually. I like the packaging, that kind of like very discreet marble effect. Can you see it? It's actually on this packaging. And it will probably be on the packaging on the inside too. So a lip quencher, probably going to be a lip gloss, but Maybe a bomb if we're lucky in oil. A little frosted, frosted look there. And you see, it's got like the marble effect on the lid. Drenched. Oh, that sounds amazing though. This might be passed on to my daughter. Feels like it's gonna be just like a very glossy, glossy gloss. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word. I'm just saying it over and over again. Glossy, glossy gloss. <laughs> yeah, it seems sticky already. Just pop it here. Smells nice doesn't necessarily smell like overwhelmingly vanilla sweet, but it is sweet vanilla. But it kind of smells fresh at the same time. So yeah, it is a sticky lip gloss. I'm sure they all look pretty cute. I just couldn't bear it. <laughs> Maybe for a photo, but not for much longer. <laughs> We have still three more items, guys. This is actually a lovely um, box. I would be pretty happy if I got that for New Year's. That's a present for like Christmas New Year's. I'm already excited to use this, 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 kind of, because I already have one, but you know what I mean. This looks pretty good, although I probably need to keep my sleeve up now because I've so I'm sure I'll get it to my daughter. And then here we have Glow Milk. It is that milk stuff I was talking about. The Beauty Crop Glow Milk. And it is pressed illuminating powder, which I already have. I'm pretty sure. Unless they're like different colors. So this creamy, ultra soft pressed powder has been formulated with a blend of nutrient rich plant based butters to condition the skin. The ultra blendable talc free illuminating pressed powder gives a subtle multi have like a name so I'm guessing it's just the same one that I have which means I will not be swatching but keeping it nice and clean yeah it's the one I have keeping it nice and clean for EB boxes peer pressure Is it pear pressure? <laughs> I feel like it's pear pressure. Is it the one I have? 
I'm doubting it now. Peer pressure. I think I would have remembered that. And I'm not sure it's the same. Mm, give me a second. Yeah. It's the one that I'm using at the moment, even. And they're both peer pressure. Yeah, that's the clean one. I'll leave it there. We can swatch that means. The I've used a lot. <laughs> no, <laughs> I've used but not crazy. It's pretty nice. Look at that. Cute. I had a look in my um, my highlighter box. Also, I keep some of the boxes from Glossy Box. Usually, just the plain pink ones to like sort out my makeup. But this one was like the 10 years of beauty and it was like all sparkly, so I kept it for the highlighters. <laughs> and when I was looking inside, I realized I have the Glow Milk in the little liquid form. And it is peer pressure too. So I have the liquid form of exactly the same one. Okay. Next, we have this little brush, which is a blush brush. Which is fine, I can use it for blush or whatever. Luvia, I think Luvia. I remember getting a few things from this brand and not being able to read <laughs> like the name of the brand and I think it's Luvia. I can't remember. But yeah, I mean it's doesn't seem like the craziest amazing quality. Like, some of the bristles are kind of a bit shiny and wriggly. I don't know. It's not amazing, but it's not bad either. It's pretty soft. I doubt it's gonna shed. It's pretty soft. It's cute. So it will just get popped into a rotation, probably for either blush or highlighter, actually. <laughs> Prime Vegan Candy. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of shiny. Like the white is sparkly. Yeah, maybe I'll use it for highlighter. Like maybe to blend blush into highlighter. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Sometimes I like to just keep a nice little fluffy brush like this just for blending. Just like once I've actually done my makeup and just like give that extra blend. The last product we have is e.l.f. Yay! <laughs> I honestly, I haven't had any e.l.f. products in so long. I wonder if I even still have any from before. I used to love getting like all sorts. It used to be so cheap that I would just get like 20, 30 products all at once, you know? It was so much fun. I think we're talking like 10 years ago at least, but it was so much fun. Okay, e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow. Very bad. Bebouré. No, bebouré. I don't know that word in French. Bebouré. Elf Cosmetics.co.uk. Eyes, lips, face. Yeah, they don't have the French one. Colors are alright. They're like I'm trying to get like no reflection from that little extra spotlight I've got there. This is just like a little um one you're supposed to use for like selfies and stuff like that. And I just use it to have a little light coming from above here. Cause when I don't have it you can't really see the details. Because my actual, like, filming lights are just two big panels, one on that side and one on that side. And sometimes there's not enough. You didn't ask, but they... <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I have a little matte, light, kind of green color. We have, what's this? Looks kind of coppery. And this one's looking a bit pink, 
pinky red and the last one is matte it's like a darker warm brown it's definitely a warm brown the whole thing's definitely warm it's quite a cute little palette but I will probably keep it for Evie boxes just because I've got those gorgeous big palettes that I need to use and I've already Sometimes I almost wish that I didn't have anything yet, so I could be like, oh, you know. But at some point, you've only got two eyes, you know. So yeah, I'll keep this for somebody else to enjoy. It's fine. With brushes, you can like amass like a white collection because then you just gotta wash them all and stuff. And it's always good to have a nice, clean, fluffy brush. But with like eyeshadow, at some point you just like, you don't need it. <laughs> eyeshadow lasts a long time for someone that doesn't do like crazy eye looks every day, you know. Okay, so what do you guys think? I think it's a bloody gorgeous limited edition box. I'm thinking if it was 40, I would be more critical. <laughs> But because it was 20, I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. I'll use this. My daughter will probably use this. I'll use this. Either daughter or eBay, I'll use this. Will be for eBay, but I am using it at the moment. <laughs> I will use this. I will use this. Probably my daughter. I will use this. And probably for eBay. So two for eBay. No, three. Three for eBay. The rest for me. This probably costs more than the full box altogether anyway, so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> okay, so let me think a second. What will I use for a blanket? Scratching out draw. Okay, so I chose the little glow milk from the beauty crop. <laughs> it's cute and shiny. if you guys care about like if it's available or things like that I don't really um I'm not like an ambassador for these kind of boxes or anything I don't get them for free I don't like have links in the description um the ones I get are from France so they're not even the same boxes as most of you guys would get anyway so I don't know if anyone's actually caring if this is available or I got it on sale anyway, months after. <laughs> I think the only um, advertising codes and things like that I do are Hey Happiness, because I do love Hey Happiness. Um, I did brew tea for a while, but I haven't been doing else. Sometimes like here and there like Anna Luisa or Raid or they're more like one-offs but yeah. Mostly I just want to make it some more. <laughs> well I guess the thing that I would like plug if you will the most is my Patreon. Just because it's just more of like a second channel to me at this point. Like I do between two and four videos per month and then there's like book club and polls and all sorts of fun stuff and like share little photos and things. So if you're interested in actually supporting my little ASMR journey, you're welcome to pop over to Patreon. It 
is the best way to support this travel. Um, I'm really looking to make this my full-time job at some point, so that's probably the way that it could happen, because <laughs> I don't see it happening. Example, if you are in Teesside in the UK, like my lovely, lovely patron, Lindsay. Hey Lindsay, I hope you're well. Thank you for all of your lovely, lovely support. I'm like, oh. 